this next project, again, as you'll see a theme here, we're looking at for projects in which students can kind of display the work, but also do an artistic way. This is looking at gears, uh, gear ratios, torque, and friction. And this was a grade 12 project that the students had to create an installation piece. So we just were in Sydney. So for those of you who know about Sydney, they have a Biennale exhibit. And so this was an ex I was thinking about the Biennale exhibit. I'm like, wow, this could be something <coughs> over there. But basically what the students had to do was create an exhibit that had to um, function, how physics function in every day. And this, if you can't see, there's a torque here, the handle, that makes all of these bicycles rotate. So it gets really annoying because it's right by Rob's office. And so they're constantly being rotated all the time. But the idea is how can we create projects that are interactive, teach a lesson, but then they're out for everyone to kind of play with. So this happened in a first semester, grade, ten, grade 12. So after creating this project, wall space became very limited in our school, right? Because this takes up an entire wall. What do we do? So the teachers got together and said, we want to do the same project. But how do we make it smaller so we can actually fill it up? So they designed a second project called Analog Flash for Windows. And the name itself is kind of a play on words because analog, it has to be something mechanical. Um, flash means it should be something that's interactive like Adobe Flash. And Windows, in fact, it was created using PC Windows. So what they did here is these are window boxes. And they're about, I'd say, one third of the shape of those windows over there. And each of these, obviously, are physics principle that describe what it is and how they interact. So if you were to go around our school, you would see people walking around our school playing with these little window boxes. And so when we have young kids playing in, they're learning about physics, seeing how it interacts, and playing with these window boxes all throughout our school. Um, another project, we've been doing a lot of um, book publications because we want students to create something that does not exist yet. And so in this project, um, the students had to create a children's astronomy book. They were looking at different principles, and so they decided, how do we explain the universe to young children? So this is a children's astronomy, astronomy book explaining black holes, the phenomenon of black holes and how they exhibit. And so each student's worked in pairs to describe one thing that they wanted to do, and in this case, it was the black holes assignment. 